It is that time of year when we need to schedule your classes for next school year. To see the course descriptions, you can go to www.gbaps.org backslash students for all the latest descriptions. During the week of January 7th, you will receive your academic and career planning course guide along with your course selection sheets for next year. For the quick reference of what's in the Academic and Career Planning Course Guide, be certain to take a look at the table of contents just inside the front cover. The course selection sheet that you will be receiving this year uh, during the week of January 7th is different than previous years because this is actually a 28-page booklet now for selecting your classes. As an example, here is page 2 of the AgriScience Natural Resources page. If you notice the columns on the left hand side shows you what grade you're able to take that class in. The second column shows you the number of credits whether it's a half a credit or a full one credit. The course numbers which you will see the prefix of the course along with numbers behind them and you'll see some of them have two numbers. The ones that end with a 2-1 are for the first semester and the ones that ends with a 2-2 are second semester and ones that end in a 4 are either semester you'll see the course length whether it's a year-long or semester class the actual course title and then what school it's offered E for East, P for Preble, S for Southwest and W for West again for most of you that you're going to pay attention to what's offered here at Southwest which would be the S. The last page of your course selection booklet is page 28 this is where you're going to use the worksheet to lay out your classes as a sample schedule the zero hour you can ignore because that's just for Preble. So you will put in your classes hours one through eight for both of the semesters. When you get done entering those along with your electives on your schedule, then go ahead to the bottom and enter your alternates in order of preference. They need to be in that order because that's how the computer will recognize them. For full year long courses or one credit courses, you'll enter two units. You'll enter for the first semester numbers that end with a 2-1 and for the second semester numbers that end with a 2-2. So for example, if you look at the AgriScience class veterinary study, notice I have both veterinary studies for semester one and semester two, but notice semester one I have it where it ends in a 2-1 and the second semester the one that ends with a 2-2. Again, you need to enter both for a full year long class. Some courses, like most of our electives, are one semester long. Those are half credit classes and are only one unit. So for a semester long one, it can be taken in either the first or the second semester. Those are courses that end with a 2-4. You only need to enter that one time. And obviously in this case, it shows for me on my schedule where it's second semester. So as you're working your way through your example schedule, now combining those two for my schedule, you will see that now I have the Vet Studies class with the 2-1 and the 2-2, and the single semester class, the Agriculture class that ends with a 2-4, along with my lunches that are already preloaded for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more classes to my schedule. Notice the study hall first hour, first semester, and second semester during seventh hour. Notice the study hall that ends the first semester ends in a one, the second semester ends in a two. If you notice also fourth hour, I've added my math class. Again, it's a year long class and I've entered the first semester with a two one and the second semester ending with a two two. Combining that with the other classes that are already there, you can start to see how my schedule is starting to fill itself out. So in the end, you will need to fill out all eight hours of your day. Eight hours times both semesters equals a total of 16 units. Lunch is already preloaded and counts for two units. So in the end, you're going to need to schedule for up to seven more credits or 14 more units, which equals a total of 16 units. Study halls also, like the lunches, count towards those 16 units. Then once you have your schedule built, remember again you're going to have to enter another two credits or a total of four units of alternates and we'll show you in a bit how to do that. Alternates are classes you would be interested if for some reason you can't get your request or the request doesn't run. 
again, you must enter these alternates into the system in the order of preference, so your first one would go first. Not sure which courses to take? Well, make sure you talk to your teachers. Determine what you need to graduate. Determine what you need for your career and college plans. And of course, as always, schedule an appointment to talk to your counselor. All of you will be going into the computer labs at the end of January to actually enter your courses. However, in between now and then, since the student portal is open, you actually can now use your course selection sheet and start to enter the classes through the internet on your own. To do so, I'm going to show you the way in which you would go about entering and the screens you would see as you would log on to the Infinite Campus and use the student portal for entering. So the first thing you would do is obviously enter Infinite Campus, the student portal. Then you will click on the registration button below your name to actually enter the registration process. To enter a request, you can either do it by entering the course name or by entering the course number. If you enter it by course number, be certain that you enter the three-letter prefix that goes along with that course title. Your search results will appear to the right side of the search field area. To view more information about a course or to request a course, you select the course in the list. If a description for the course has been entered, it will appear at the bottom of your screen. To make the request then, all you do is click at the bottom button that says request this course. When you have entered your course, they will show up on the left hand side like this under requested courses and they will list them alphabetically for you. On the left hand side near the top you'll see it where it says units. You must enter enough requests to total 16 units. Lunches already are, have been recorded, so that's two. And along with your now requested courses, you should have a total of 16 units, which again is our eight periods of the day times two semesters, which gets us to 16. You must have 16 units entered, no more, no less. When you have entered all 16 units, you must then select the alternate courses. The alternate course request is on the right hand side toward the bottom. Remember once again, it's important to enter your alternates in order of your preference. The first alternate needs to be put in first. So if you want a study hall, that needs to be entered first. If you want two study halls, they both have to be entered as your first and second alternates. Then after that, then you list other electives that you would want, once again, in order of preference, getting all the way down through four of them. So when should you register? You can register right now by logging into the student portal, whether it's at school or through the internet at home. Between now and the end of January, you can enter your classes, and if you do not have them done by the end of January, we will help you in the computer labs. Otherwise, if you have them all entered, you will still report to the computer lab. We will verify your course entries to make everything's accurate, and then you will be fully scheduled. And again, you can register at any place where you can log on to the internet, whether it's at home, during your study hall, in the library, during your lunch hour, at any point in time, whenever you can get onto the internet. If you happen to run into any problems along the way, just stop and continue to fill out your course selection sheet on page 28, have it all ready to go with your backups, and then when we have you report to the computer labs at the end of January, we will then go through it with you and make sure that we get it entered entered accurately. If you need to see this video again, you can find it on a student portal. If you should have other questions from there, please continue to talk with your teachers and or make appointments with your counselor to be able to help you with the questions you may have. 
Otherwise, at this point, go forth, have fun with entering, and again, remember, we'll be in the labs to make sure it's entered accurately in a couple of weeks.